And this latest shooting happened as CMPD is already monitoring a string of violence across town in southwest Charlotte. There have been three shootings in one neighborhood just within the past month. Two of those shootings were deadly. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre joins us from there live. Jesse, you spoke to neighbors in that area. What action have uh, they seen so far? Have they taken? Well, so far, the uh, residents tell me that the police have added this uh, police tower over here and they are seeing officers patrol the area, but they feel like police need to take a more aggressive approach or the gun violence will continue to rise and they will lose their brand new apartment building, their complex and community. We have military, we have teachers, we have educators, retired 30 year neighbor out here. We have good families out here, but there's a problem because they know we are in the highest risk community on the south side. Granite Point Apartments opened about a year ago and residents like Sonia McIntyre say gun violence is ruining their neighborhood. It had escalated to a point that a brand new community now was being taken over. It's going to be taken over by the police or it's going to be taken over by the bad elements. CMPD has seen a rise in gun related crimes this year, but did note a decrease in homicides. This is according to its quarterly crime statistic report released back in April. As of May 19, there have been 33 homicides in Charlotte so far this year. In 2021, there were 98 homicides reported, which was down from the previous year. There's just too many guns, period. We all know it, and I, but I own a gun, I own guns. I believe in Second Amendment rights, but guns aren't bad, but guns in the wrong people hands with mental illness, substance abuse, or just with, with heinous behaviors. Over at the complex, CMPD is looking into three different shootings in one month. On Mother's Day, 19-year-old Maurice Page Jr. was shot and killed. May 17, a nine-year-old boy and two other people were hurt in a shooting. And shots rang out again on the night of May 30th. We got cell phone video from the scene where 33-year-old Demarcus Allen was killed. All I see is police. So when I get out the car, my grandma was informing me what happened. All she knows is whoever the guy was just pulled out the gun. They got to fight him, pulled out a gun and shot him. McIntyre says there needs to be stricter screening and criminal background checks for the apartment complex and more police presence on the grounds so they can regain their community. When you put a new community in an area that is high crime risk, you must put safeguards with it too, which means higher policing for a while until the community gets the transition that the community is a new community. Now, when it comes to the three shootings that took place here at this apartment complex, there have been no arrests made so far. Anyone with information is asked to, to contact CMPD's Crime Stoppers line. Live in Southwest Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.